Joining me now is Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Senator Vance, I realize that both Senators Brown and Fetterman, and I guess he was uh, doing this from his hospital room, have co-sponsored your legislation. So that's good. But the people in this area and also in western Pennsylvania, they still feel abandoned. So why hasn't the president shown up? Well, I can't explain that, Laura. And, and frankly, why hasn't his administration shown up until Trump and other folks effectively forced the administration to start paying attention to this? You know, there are two sides of this, Laura. Of course, you want the government to do its basic job. You want the EPA and other folks to actually be on the ground responding to the crisis in real time. That took longer than it should have, though I'm happy to say that there's some progress being made there. You also just want leaders to actually show up and let people know that they care. And that's one of the ways in which the Biden administration has been a totally catastrophic failure. They blamed the Trump administration on the one hand, which was completely nonsensical in addition to being complete partisan hackery, and they refused to show up on the other hand. It's no wonder the folks of East Palestine feel left behind. I've been fighting every single day to make sure they get the support that they need and that we actually respond to the crisis. But look, the Biden administration has, by and large, not been a help. So Biden did send out his press secretary, though, uh, Senator, to answer for his absence from the area. Watch this. I don't have a, any uh, trips to preview for you at this time. This has been a priority. We have had a multi-agency uh, reaction to this, an operation uh, on the ground, uh, making sure that um, uh, the community in East Palestine was getting what they needed to get back on their feet and to make them whole. So he went to Ukraine, went to Poland, did the big speeches, can't show up in his own country, but Donald Trump did. What did the Trump visit mean to the people on the ground? Well, the first thing it meant is it shown a light on what's going on in East Palestine. I think so many people felt forgotten. So the fact that, you know, President Trump showed up, actually talked to the people, just made them feel like somebody was paying attention. I actually do think it, it actually physically kicked the Biden administration in the proverbial teeth a little bit and got them off their rear ends. They needed to pay attention to this area. They needed to send resources to this area. I got to say, they've been a lot better since Trump came to town than they were beforehand. And I think the president deserves a lot of credit for that. Chuck Schumer decided to try to gaslight the issue this week. Watch. It is so typical for people like Donald Trump to do the bidding of special interests, cause harm to the American people. That's what he did when he loosened railroad regulations. And then point the finger at someone else when something terrible happens. That's just what he did here. Well, what's the truth here, their attempt to blame Trump? Look, this really bothers me, Laura, because it's a complete dereliction of leadership. Look, when you talk about regulations, this is an obvious point, or at least it should be. You want to get rid of regulations that don't promote public safety, but you want to make sure that we actually are ensuring public safety with the laws that we have. There is not a single regulation or deregulatory thing that the Trump administration did that you can pin on East Palestine. In other words, the president... I mean, President Trump deserves none of the blame. His administration did nothing that promoted the disaster in East Palestine. And this effort to try to force blame on Trump, it's not just wrong on the facts. It distracts us from the job, which is what my legislation tries to do. I mean, they're blaming Trump for inflation. They're trying to blame him for crime I saw someone trying to do. And now this, it is uh, preposterous. Senator, great to see you. And thank you for your leadership. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.